that's not too hateful. You can see me. I can't see where I'm going, so if I fall, it'll be hilarious and we'll all laugh. Ha ha ha. Gonna go put the chickens away. Easiest animal on the planet to take care of, I think. They don't eat much in the summer because they're out eating bugs and grass. They eat a fairly decent amount in the winter though, but super easy. We are getting out of winter as we speak around here. Kind of a fluke. It's gonna be 50s and 60s this week, but then it's gonna spike back down into the low freezing for the weekend again, I think. Plus another snow sleep freezing rainstorm. Not in that order. So I do the door in the daytime. I will put their little bridge down so they can walk up into the barn. Use this multi-purpose pitchfork. Chuck the door closed so it's not flapping in the wind all day. I did throw some paper shreds in here today, so. Everybody has their Pretty standard spots. Uh, except for Colonel. Colonel sneaks through the top wall up there and sleeps in the tool barn. Colonel Sanders, he's our big Rhode Island Red. Yeah, what's the temp in here right now? About 44, but it's also about 40 degrees outside. Food and water, man, and chickens are pretty much easy peasy. Somebody mentioned uh, open top container. This is exactly why we don't do that. Chickens will poop on everything. And I know this is messy and I generally keep my handy dandy scraper right here. <laughs> so I'll scrape this off on a regular basis. Not at night usually, because as you can hear, the girls are getting worked up a bit about it. Hi right, Finn again, you stay over there on your side, buddy. I know, I see you. See this rooster right here, guys? It's gotten warm outside, and you can see the discoloration in this comb. But I'm not gonna mess with you, big boy. You're, you're quite beautiful, though. He's the one I call Clubfoot. This is one of ours. He's one of our hatchlings from last year, so I don't know what he's exactly a mix of. He's either part Rhode Island Red, Colonel, but he's not over here, and part Light Brahma, or some variation combination of that but he's actually gorgeous. But he was born with a club foot. His toes were all twisted around. He's had absolutely no problem digging around, chasing ladies, eating food, getting around, so there's no reason to just whack him just, you know, because he's born with a with a club foot. I actually like him. He's quite beautiful. Hi, Bubba. But what I was saying is that comb starts to get just like a beet red around the tips and edges when they're really, really full on breeding the girls when it's uh, it's go season. And I've noticed a couple of the girls, I'll try to find one. They've been riding pretty hard. Here, this little Rhode Island red right here. See where she's missing some feathers on her wings and on her back. Because what will happen, we have a few too many easy girls we have a few too many roosters we have 32 hens and at least three roosters i think there's four one two and three roosters so that's not actually bad the problem is one rooster will fertilize her and then the next the next guy will run over and he'll jump on her because you know he wants to fertilize her too and then the next rooster comes over and does the same thing and this girl is just dirty from all the dirty boys stepping on you huh this little lady's all poofed up see her the blue sheen in her feathers and then these are the copper morans you can see how that copper ring turned out on their neck if she'll let me hi i'm sure you guys can see that blue in her feathers at night so she's black with a little bit of copper speckled throughout her feathers and then the blue hue and then that beautiful copper ring get these girls fed collect the eggs. We've been doing quite well with eggs. It took off pretty good. We were quite, we were down to maybe one egg a day sometimes. If I was lucky, two eggs a day in December. But we've been averaging, there's three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We've been averaging actually 10 a day, but a couple days ago we got 13 and then 11 today, so. Nothing crazy.
it's just a warning. Oh. All right, I'll turn it. Okay. Hey, okay. I'll turn it out. Uh, I will turn the light out. All right. I know. It's okay. Straight up warning call. Everybody hide. Everybody run. Everybody be safe. This boy appears really in heat. Whatever you want to call that for a chicken. They get you a view of it. Oh, kind of insane. It's almost white. I got them all stirred up now. If you've never made a pocket omelet, almost every year. All right, big boy. All right. You know me. You know I'm safe. As soon as I stepped out the door, calm. You ever made a pocket omelet? That's what happens when you forget you have eggs in your pocket and you lean against something and then you smash the eggs. And then you just take a bunch of grain and throw it in your pocket and absorb it all and feed it back to the chickens. Good night, ladies. Good night, cranky pants. Everybody's safe. Yeah, big boy up here. He was making his way down here to kick some butt if he had to. But he didn't come down. He always sleeps up there. And then this guy is almost 90% of the time here. Sometimes he'll be like right over there. And then like I said, Colonel sleeps in the other side of the barn. And then most of the girls sleep right here on this these two natural roosts a couple of the girls sleep in the nesting boxes and then a couple of the girls sleep up there with the other rooster but all in all good i'm really impressed this year with how well i think this is the best that i've ever done deep litter as you can see today it was getting a little wet in here the top was getting a little wet i've thrown some hay in here a couple times some nice dry hay to absorb and then the paper shredder was full so i thought i'd get some of that in here and absorb some of this but yeah that's a little too wet that's the tiny bit too wet so i need to get some dry down on top of that but all in all we were if you guys go back and look i did a i did a youtube short chicken coop poop and then i did a couple i think i did one other chicken chicken coop poop video. We were pretty much 42 degrees in here every day. When I come over in the morning and open the door, it's generally about 42 degrees in here, just heating with poop. It didn't get over moist in here like it did last year. Last year it got but a lot of condensation in here, uh, just built up. But this year, nothing. We had one or two days where there was a little bit of icing inside. There was some icing on this exterior wall up here but nothing major. All in all, Deep Litter Method was a huge success in here this year. And with us coming out of winter, we'll get this coop cleaned out probably mid-March, end of March. Start afresh. Just like anything else, I'll only put a limited amount of, of dry material down for the summer because it'll stay warm and dry in here in the summer. And then uh, go back and watch my... Crap. So on occasion, the chickens like to fill my door jam. They'll kick this up over the wall like this and fill my door jam with a variety of things. And then my door won't close because they're weenies. I haven't figured out if they're doing it on purpose yet. Thus, why the tool stays right there. And for scraping poop. I hope you guys enjoy this little nighttime view of the chicken coop. Because what happened was I had started editing a video. And the way DaVinci works, it pulls the information from your computer. So I put all my videos in a folder. Well, this series of videos that I was working on was part of another video. That video got too long. Surprise, surprise. Never known me to talk too long. That video was getting super, super long. So what I did was pulled that part out of the video, put it to the side, and I was making another video from that footage. But in my infinite wisdom, when I completed editing that first video. I deleted all the files because they take up a ton of space on your computer. I deleted all the files for the completed video. Half of those files were the videos I needed for tomorrow's video, which I had already spent an hour editing. So those are all gone. So you get me chatting up some chickens, trying to get you guys some video. Hope you enjoy it. If you have questions, throw them in the comments section. I thought we'd hit 500 yesterday. We're at 498 for two days now. It hasn't budged in two days, but I've had that happen before where subscribers sits there for two days and then it'll pop up with like six or eight new subscribers and then if i go back and look at the data i actually got two a day so i don't know what youtube's doing and why it's doing that but that's the way it happens sometimes so it is what it is i spreadsheet my subscribers on tuesday morning when i wake up run that average oh don't fall over the fence run that average tells me the average numbers of of subscribers for the week and based on that number i should have hit 500 this morning so that didn't happen but we will get there i'm gonna take care of the rabbits and then i'm gonna head down to the to the goats maybe we'll do some goat video right at the end of this how about that just for you guys bye all right ladies just a little bit of what are you doing you fighting cookie see so you knocked my broom over and made a mess on the floor just like we practiced let's go come on
all I needed you to do it like we've done it every day this week. Never mind the fact that the camera's here. Good job. Good job, poo -poo. Let me see your baby bump while I'm in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit, uh, yep. <clears throat> now, Tiki is always the first one to run right to her stall. Get up there on her food bin. Hi, and uh, wait for the food, because she's a good girl, huh? Yes, you are. My best goat, Tic Tac. Sugar pie, on the other hand, sometimes makes me chase her around, but she's been doing pretty good this week. Just rolling up in here and hanging out. Thank you, ladies. Cats are always ready to eat. All right, who's next? Rosie? In you go. Thank you, Sprinkles. Come on, Sprinks. Thank you. Go on, sheep. Well, you always gotta be the bad boy. You're the bad boy. Uh, I know. Sheep are really good at putting themselves away. Except for that guy. Oh, what do we got here? I'm giving her a little, little, little lick and kick, my dude. And yes, that's the sad reality, guys, is I don't think either sheep is bred. We'll wait and see and watch. I know, you're short. Get her done, though, buddy. Your fate might rest upon that. That's all I'm saying. All right, now we have trouble number one. Trouble number two has already made her way to... Go on. Cor Cookie, of course, requests that I walk her to her stall. Sometimes Struzo will make me, and Custard usually just kind of dashes over here by herself. Hi! Thank you, ladies. Have a good night. You all did wonderful. What do you guys think? Throw it in the comments. We're working on putting ourselves away so I don't have to drag each goat to their stall. Hi. Can I turn this down a little bit? Hi. Hello. You guys did a very good job. Thanks for being the Queen Bee leader. I need to climb on the... Okay, okay. I didn't pet you, I know. Okay. All right. Yep, you're getting that pregnant doe stinky smell. They start to smell a little bucky when they're... Uh... That's it, guys. Click all the buttons. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger. I don't think she's bred either because she was in heat this morning or seemed like she was in heat this morning. So, more sadness. Not you. That's it, just one. Good night.